very extremely difficult video for me to perform because this video is recovered. Uh, it's one hour and 50 minutes long, uh, recovered without the sound, without the comment, which I'm going to repeat. I'll try to repeat and do my job, but it's not going to be easy at all because it's very, very sophisticated comment I added. The most valuable part of the video, eventually it's lost. This video, however, is related to a police theft, destruction, vandalizing, and much, much more uh, in respect to just the latest delivery I received from China through AliExpress uh, when first it was from eBay. I think it was from eBay that I ordered Japanese-made Miyota Casio mechanism. It was stolen, uh, and then I ordered two replacements, the cheaper parts, uh, equally equal uh, dimensions, performance, uh, however not original uh, to match the specifications of Casio. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to refer to about this stuff. What you see right there, that's right in the center of that mechanism was referred to me by the police officers, investigators, and the local watchman and the psychiatrist, of Indian psychiatrist Peter Kops, during the torture known as, well, during MKUltra torture, uh, they referred to me this as a crown, as a kronza. Now, this thing here is not crown, this is not kronza, and the first thing is that I have to clarify Asian watchmakers that entered this room, I will not say anything who. I will tell you, however, I was in Casio and Citizen Seiko manufacturing facilities and throughout entire China where Swiss, British, Japanese brought their technology and Chinese manufacturers itself all over the place. Uh, so I will know anything. I will not say anything about who stated me. However, they, they repeated me. They claimed to me that they're extremely angry with the Slovenian police as to what they got themselves into in respect to crown, uh, crime. For instance, that's not Kronza. That's not crown that you see right there. That's just where the hands from the watch are attached. You know, those pointers that show minutes, hours, and seconds, that's where you attach them. And in respect to this latest delivery, the only thing I'm going to say to you out of one Japanese made Casio mechanism worth two of these cheaper mechanisms, there was just one cheaper Chinese mechanism that was functional. As for this mechanism here, uh, which I attempted now to install into another uh, housing on another dial, if you like, professionally in the watch world is dial. In a watch case, uh, it appeared to have broken exactly as psychiatrist, Slovenian psychiatrist Peter Kops. It's a really sadistic maniac figure out it's going to cause me the biggest psychological harm when dealing with a rack, with a total havoc, if I would even ever get to this part, for which also the British royals have taken credit. Uh, they were extremely, extremely pleased with Slovenian police, with the Slovenian psychiatry to have come up with some most criminal, sadistic, uh, mental health wracking scenarios. But this is, this is what this video is going to be all about. So this is one piece. I have to tell you the original uh, Casio was stolen, never delivered. Chinese eBay seller or AliExpress seller did refunded me money. And there was one mechanism, which you see right there on the Casio watch, is exactly the same as the mechanism uh, I'm going to try to use right now. 
uh, was functional and then you know this mechanism I'm about to, do, to demonstrate to you now is just a mechanism that was exactly I say vandalized sabotaged or whatever you want to say uh, st basically stolen money wrecked uh, probably most likely substituted by the local watchman with destroyed mechanism or was destroyed by the local watchman or maybe police officers investigators it doesn't really matter police got to deprive me 75 percent they have stolen one worth two of these mechanisms probably substituted one more with broken one and left me one so managed to deprive me of what should otherwise be 75 percent of my own money so I don't know how you want to refer to this, whether you want it to theft, vandalizing. It goes beyond theft. It goes into causing one a most severe psychological harm. Yes, yeah, so we're basically killing somebody psychologically. What you see right there, that's a real crown. That's what's known as a crown. So as a crown, there's this Asian wholesalers, watchmen, manufacturers are so angry. They told me, if you're not going to repeat that this is a crown, we're not going to help you. But if you can do something like I'm going to demonstrate in this video right now, we're going to come out and eventually confirm your account. Because we have seen uh, about what the hell went on. So what you see right there, that's a crown. And what you see right there is where the hands are attached. The hands are these pointers, these dials right there. Those are Those are the... Dial's not. Dial is in the background where you see those numbers that are like a plate where it's hiding the, uh, a mechanism behind. That's known as dial. But what you see right there, that's those are hands. And right in the center is where the psychiatrist Peter Kops figure out the crime, the main crime is going to take place. You know, he figured out the most sadistic, if you're ever going to figure out all the damage that we have done to you, and they probably have me destroy me about 15 watches, maybe me even more, have stolen me. In Poland, they have stolen me in front of my face. It was an individual who worked for the police that have stolen me uh, a watch right in front of my nose, and they stole other watches and so on. So with, with, with watches, with fucking around sanity of an individual that does not even have the right to know what time it is, do you understand the meaning of the words I'm saying? That's already very, very close definition to complete insanity. That's what British royals have done. British royals have simply purchased this filthy Slovenian state uh, to demonstrate their strength, their power, uh, basically the influence, the capacity, the capability of causing one harm through corruption, expanded the criminal network throughout the world and have used me basically as a scapegoat as somebody on whom it can be demonstrated what exactly, how far, what what can be done to a single person. And it's actually not my problem. I think these people are severely mentally ill. They are not my problem. These are a very, very mentally ill people, these people inside of the Buckingham Palace. Severely mentally ill people. Criminal beyond anything imaginable. Sadistic. Sadistic. This is a sadism. To do stuff like this to the person. Still, I will never allow for these people to become my problem. They are problem of the British state. British states, which, however, doesn't know how to demonstrate the world, the strength, the power, directly. So they're using a single family from London to just accomplish that. So to basically to demonstrate what they can do what you see right there already is a watch and it's all how it all started at by age 50 like six months seven months eight months ago i decided i'm gonna paint a hands from a really cheap watch yeah 
And so I decided I'm going to pay hands of this cheap watch. Uh, and afterwards, I decided I'm going to go ahead and will also fix watches that are broken. And I cannot afford to buy other watches. So it would be just for me to go as police uh, figure out I'm going to do about to repair the watches. And as you see right there, it's a Casio watch. It's not the original mechanism, as I stated. One was stolen. eBay or AliExpress seller refunded me money. Thank you. Uh, and instead of that, I went ahead and I ordered two cheaper parts with the identical performance dimensions, uh, but cheaper Chinese manufactured parts, and of which one eventually was good, and I have myself installed one uh, inside of this Casio watch. Uh, I have also replaced uh, hands, so uh, the watch is more attractive, and uh, basically that's about it. And for that second cheap Chinese piece, uh, I just have to prove that it was just totally, totally malicious stuff uh, that was done. What you see right there now, that watch, that's another watch. You're not going to think that I don't know what I'm doing in respect to installation of a mechanism, replacement of hands and that kind of stuff. Uh, this is really uh, three watches in my life, three mechanism I have replaced in my life. Um, well, this is recorded on January the 16th of 2023, this stuff was done. It says right there on uh, January 15, 2023. Um, I want to say to you, I have no idea how many times I have gone the day before, which was January the 14th, to make sure that whatever I'm going to be recording the next day is not going to be some kind of stupidity, meaning that I have probably gone about 12 hours straight checking, changing hands from one watch to another to make sure that I would not say some stupidity because I don't know anything about the watches. So see. As I stated for the first time in my life, I started to change a mechanism on the watch, uh, for which British Royals even doubted I'm ever going to do, uh, at age 50. So that was last year, and uh, I don't know, that would be about, you know what, that probably would run about a few months ago when I post about the Casio watch that I repaired. I don't know how far that will be. Uh, maybe what uh, exactly? I really don't know. I don't know. Maybe three months ago or something. No, I, I, I don't know. I can, um, I, can, I can also go and check later on. I don't know. I don't keep the timing about this. I just, uh, I just did this stuff. It was not three months ago. No way. Uh, so that I have something... As a matter of fact, what I what I stated right now, that's completely wrong. You see those are hands right there. Uh, the first watch, sorry, the first watch was a mechanism I replaced that didn't even have a date and stuff like this. Uh, and it was taken out of some watches, which I ordered, like maybe even, I have no idea, maybe like eight months ago or something like this. And I fixed... Not this Casio watch, but it was another watch that I pointed out, the yellow one. Um, sorry to say, it doesn't make any difference whether they have this uh, date, which you see right there on a Casio, or they're without a date, but that was actually how I all started. Yeah, so it was age 50, about maybe, I don't know, eight something months ago that I decided I'm going to go ahead and fix one watch and then 
uh, you know, just lately I got this uh, mechanisms which I have used to repair the Casio again. And so that's at age 50. That's very, very important for me to declare. I decided I'm going to put a repair rather than to purchase new watches. I'm going to go out and repair myself broken watches. Replace like this is a water resistant watch. I went once for a swimming like I don't know how many years ago. Uh, I don't know, maybe 13 years ago or something like this. And it was a water and water went inside a housing and the watch was finished. Yeah. So um, rather than buying new watches, I purchased this mechanisms and replaced hands myself uh, and started to do basically whatever British royals and police investigators who played inside of this room since 1990, 1996, 1997 have demanded from me to do. British were the first to introduce, uh, British royals I'm talking about, were the first to introduce play with the watches, something to entertain these Eastern European clowns. They came up with idea and whenever they had this blah 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 going on here inside of the inside of our house this was like their hobby now oh, they took me to the rolex to the factory uh and not only to that factory in the rolex in britain but also to switzerland where they transferred part of the operations uh and so on and so forth also um with me slovenian psychiatrist peter kops police they would start to pay the visits to locations they should have never been to uh, according to absolutely any criterion. Yet they got to reach incredible locations and see stuff I can only dream about seeing. I was nothing other than a voodoo doll used to bleed. Um, voodoo doll used to be bleated to be stabbed in the back so that the British royals, European royals, Vladimir Putin and his mafia, gangsters, mobsters, British did business with, could hide behind the jungle they created. The jungle, it appeared to me, was quite large. It was quite big. British royals have used it the biggest advantage, a most criminal murderous weapon known as guilt weapon. They were always blaming me for the stuff I had nothing to do with, that I caused emotional pain to people, that I misbehaved. And all this stuff was supported and it was all built, created by no other than Slovenian President Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor, Danilo Turk. Uh, basically, Serbian Chetniks, Milosevic, Karadzic, Sesel, Balkan butchers, they used to call them in the last Balkan war, in the Bosnian uh, Croatian war, and the uh, Serbs performed ethnic cleansing. Uh, that's basically how it all started. I was no good, beaten up in front of the memorials dedicated to Slovenian national resistance, of which part were. People on both sides of my family, on my father's side and my mother's side, uh, beaten up till I started to hate, 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 including my own heritage, uh, national resistance. Listen, I wouldn't go and blame everything on Milan Kuchan and people like this because it's as I acknowledge on my new site. Slovenia is just a story, it's just an 80 year old story about the fascism. And when it comes to fascism, we're talking about the so-called left, as they used to uh, regard to themselves. They, they, they were not left, they had nothing to do with the communism. It was just a greater Serbian, Chetnik, Russian, Belarusian, Fascism is what it was. That's all it was. They didn't have nothing to do with the with the communism. You can see 
Vladimir Putin and his limos and his castles that he built to himself and all kinds of stuff. Uh, his thirst for blood, which is completely indifferent from the Serbs in the Balkans. And then you get a pretty good idea about what kind of communism these people ran. Okay, that's what this Slovenian crime was all about. Uh, but they wanted to confuse the world. In the United States of America, you had this civil rights movements which could present threat uh, to elites. You had other movements throughout Africa and throughout Asia and other parts of the world, also through Europe, so that to divide and to conquer, to confuse as much as possible, uh, they started with a game of left and right, you know, Openly in Slovenia here, the people like Loise Peterle, uh, and then you have Dmitri Rupel, and you have Janez Jansha, who declare themselves quite oftentimes as a fascist, as a white guard, as somebody who supported Hitler and Mussolini. Uh, it, it came out that really there was no difference between them and between the so-called left that all together have performed crime on behalf of their masters in Moscow, London, uh, uh, you know, wherever the money came from, whoever paid the crime followed. That's all the way that was. But what you see right there, the problem is that It's, there is no problem, yeah? The problem was that I lost two days on this stuff, and the problem is that I'm losing the third day now with even adding sound to what already was recorded video. There's too many fucking problems to count. If there would be no problem like this, we, I would be doing some other stuff, but, you know. What you see right there is um, hand that I have to attach to that centerpiece that I demonstrated you earlier, which is located on a movement, and that's just not going to happen because psychiatrist Peter Kopsch figure out that that's how he's going to brain fuck me the most as he used to express himself. Uh, that's how he's going to cause me like the biggest, the biggest mental injury possible. So after losing a lot of time uh, after going through a lot of problems, the last piece that you're going to attach to uh, to the watch for one to work again, that's going to be the one you're going to realize you're not going to be able to attach. Uh, and really, you cannot attach one. Uh, it's broken inside in the center. It doesn't allow to be placed inside. Now, how all this stuff started? Uh, as I stated, uh, Asian people got very, very upset with me, saying to me, if you're not going to know what the crown is on the watch, and I already told you uh, earlier, I pointed you out what the crown is. Crown is when you wind the watch, that kind of stuff. Just You don't wind this. In this case, crown, which is on the side, is just used to set the time and the date because it's a quartz. It's a battery-powered watch. Uh, that's where the crown is on the side of the watch, to which stem is attached. Uh, but the Slovenian police investigators that play with this stuff, the local watchmen, claim to me that the crown is exactly what you see right there, because it's in the center. It kind of even makes sense to me, because it's the main piece, right? So it must be a crown. So they repeated to me brainwash under MK Ultra. Uh, for like maybe 20 years that I broke the crown and it's something that also really really appealed to the British royals this brainwash this crime this very crime is completely coordinated with the British royals again totally coordinated with the British royals uh, they they wanted me to acknowledge uh, that I have done something that I shouldn't have have uh, and when it comes to me, when I recall the events, this sadistic, 
crazy stuff that went on inside of my room, what exactly went on. Here is where they were repairing the watches. Here is where watchmen during MK Ultra began to teach police investigators from the police station Novomesto on how to fix watches. Not only how to repair the watches, but to how to change, how to replace hands mechanisms on the watches, how to modify them, uh, how to purchase watches and actually sell them through him. He, they were selling, these police investigators had like a part-time job and they would assemble in their free time watches and would, and would sell them. Uh, that's what, how the British Royals did, you know, they stimulated local police through the local watch seller uh, that there is like a money to be made, you know, through the eBay and stuff like this. We're going to help you out. You know, you're going to put this, you're going to do it yourself. You're going to buy these parts. You're going to assemble the watch. Then you're going to sell this on eBay. You're going to make a money. And, you know, whew, I don't even know how I would refer to the scum. This is definitely not a police. What should have been police have it settled next to the police job it's not a police job these are investigators watch out these are not the traffic police officers these are not the uniforms police the police officers these are a police officer that don't do anything these are the police officers scratch their ass all day long and perform crime on behalf of selected politicians you understand they wipe ass to the politicians such as milan kuchan they perform criminal activities and apologize their crime with assistance of psychiatry by creating crime and then resolving the crime. We got to be very, very specific about the Slovenian police. Sometimes here and there and there, at times, they also respond to what are known as robberies. One time, I, yeah, they had me in some location here in some shopping center Supposedly that there was a robbery and stuff like this. They also resolve those kind of issues. But for most of the time, these people are doing something completely not related to the police activities. They're doing stuff that is related to the police activities to the degree to apologize their paycheck. In reality, these people I have seen, I have met, I come across here from the Novo Mesta police station. These people are a burden, a trouble to a taxpayers. Slovenian taxpayers, which, however, I don't give a three fucks about. <laughs> exactly because of what I stated to you earlier have taken place and in which entire general Slovenian population have engaged. Talking about beatings, abuse, torture in front of the memorials dedicated to the Slovenian national resistance where I was repeatedly beaten up, abused, uh, tortured. So to say that I don't even know if this video is going to come through because uh, what I see here, this thing is not even moving anywhere, but I hope you will. Probably I'm just also was just talking about. And so now repeating this stuff, it doesn't feel like it's original video for me, but okay. Um, well, let me just see here, 2839. Yeah, it is, it's working. 2839, all right, so be it. And so, the day I was taken through village to village, from city to city throughout Slovenia, abused, tortured, interrogated, spit in my face for something I knew no longer even existed, something like a Nazi Germany, but because of, like we say in Slovenian language, krivica, because of anger, frustration, because of justice that I believed must exist somewhere. There's got to be some kind of justice someplace. Um, uh, even that I knew, I still wanted to believe even that Nazi Germany existed because of the stuff my own Slovenian people have done to me. 
So by giving you a complete background about Slovenian people, what Slovenian nation have done to me, I think I completely explained myself that this is the most heinous crime. Uh, abuse somebody completely into oblivion, into insanity, torture him on 10,000 occasions at least so that he would not even know who he is anymore. You, know, you use the drugs, you drug him up and you abuse him uh, to apologize your own crime with crime for which you believe he's going to commit so you can apologize your crime this is not my nation these are not my people sorry to tell you this i told you this is 80 years of the fascism left right whichever way you want to call one but these people do not understand what fascism is they love to talk about the fascism they talk they love to talk about the nazism but i don't understand that when they step in front of the mirrors, they are looking at the faces of the fascists, of the Nazis. What you see right there, I've used, I'm going to first do is adjust like this. You see exactly what you see. I'm adjusting right there a date, exactly according to instructions from YouTube. I'm going to pull that crown. You see the crown? A stem is attached to a crown. I'm going to put that out of this movement. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and align to 12 hands and push them inside with rather very primitive tools such as knives to attach, to reattach, to attach hands. And what you see right there is mechanism. Mechanism is right in the back of that dial. So you attach the mechanism uh, on a on a dial, and then from the other side of the dial, you attach the mechanism, the hands. Yeah, but this is not the correct. Uh, this is not a correct stem. So I'm going to replace the stem. I'm going to take one from the Casio watch. I'm going to use that to pull, uh, to repeat this stuff again, and, and which is good. It gives me a little more time to give you more explanation about. So what went on inside of this room was a crime, nothing but crime. Whenever they had me, whenever they drugged me up, they brought me from Miami, from Miami Beach, Florida, beginning in 1995. Central Intelligence Agency brought me to Slovenia distributed through the entire Western and Eastern Europe for nothing other than torture beatings. In this shit, once they managed to accomplish this left and right issues, once the London managed to accomplish the desired outcome, I was distributed throughout the world more and to create more and bigger and bigger and bigger ripples. Eventually bigger and bigger crime grew out of this. And that was just fine, because in the background of all this, what you refer to as Illuminati, the only thing they were doing is they have so much fucking money that not even their banksters can count one, okay? That's all I'm going to say to you. The only thing that ran in the background of all this were meetings, they sat together and they were just signing the contracts in respect to mostly Russian minerals, gas, oil, petroleum, call it trade, whatever you want, even that every one of which in Britain is controlled by their royals, doesn't matter really. And in Canada, quite the same. So I'm going to take this from Casio and I'm going to use this to adjust the same thing on that watch. Uh, and don't go about and do it the proper way, right? So this is a stem I'm holding in my hands with a crown, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach, uh, uh, um, set the date. Once I set the date, I'm going to proceed, just as I stated, with alignment of hands back onto the mechanism, which I'm trying to attach to another watch. Now, 
this second mechanism for which I didn't know it was broken as I told you I was so crazy that I went over and over two days ago I went over and over and over and I didn't know what the hell what's going on with it to finally realize that this shit cannot be attached because it's just there is nowhere to attach this thing that something is done in the center of this thing in the center of the watch uh, which however as Asian manufacturers watchmen alerted me over and over and over again as I refer to as a crown is not a crown this is just a center of the watch like a little stem something like this that the hands are attached yeah and that was the biggest resentment from Asian manufacturers my not having the ability to discern between they couldn't understand why can't you understand why can't you discern between uh, crown as you see right there I'm pushing against and the centerpiece of the watch of the mechanism where hands are attached and that's located on the other side why can't you why can't you for God's sake understand now right there in the middle what you see that's a crown this is a crown yeah first you you set the date in a such a position that you get one as soon as as soon as it turns you pull that stem that crown you pull that stuff out once you do this then you go and you set the dials at 12 o'clock you reattach them back to to mechanism so why can't you for God's sake understand the difference between the crown and you know, exactly what I'm holding right now and the centerpiece of the watch why can't you well it all started like this you know they told me if you ever going to manage to do what you're doing here and uh, be very careful that you don't say a crown for the centerpiece we're going to come out and confirm this um the crime started how the police how the psychiatrists so and psychiatrists did this why were british so enthusiastic about this crime here that you see well they were enthusiastic about this crime simply because when you they had me drugged up right uh and in 96 it all started can you attach hands to the watch can you do this no you cannot do that you're drugged up you know this is how it all started that was a prince andrew that's how it all started like in 96 yeah you can't do it you can't even you cannot do this you know and nobody wants to be told that you can't do right so you see that centerpiece that's what slovenian police brainwashed me since 99 since 2000 that 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 centerpiece right there that that's a crown yeah it's not crown that's just a centerpiece where you attach these hands these little dials the dial however is where you see those numbers where it says water resistant atmospheric quartz soki numbers all that stuff that's a dial but the hands you're going to attach to that centerpiece right there so we work they worked inside they worked inside and this stuff and there was all kinds of crime they they portrayed me whatever this watchman have encountered on the watches uh in his everyday life all these problems he would bring inside in here or it would be problems that police officers came across as they started to assist one earn extra money with it and they would bring these problems inside of this room you know this is the same shit like when they told me all these mk ultra staff members they told me oh the cable you see the cable the cable is no good but you see this you see what the cable has is no good is no good is no good yeah for everything for every complaint they gave me for everything every everything whatever that happened something it's exactly what i was delivered afterwards this is this is done to cause an individual extreme extreme trauma because when you see somebody telling you 
do you see this damage? You know, he pointing at something, iron on a backpack. You know, they always create so like a, like some kind of incident, something out of it. You know, you you're, you're under MK Ultra, you're gonna hear a fuck, damn, and again this and that, or fuck, I left this unattended. You know, I left this unattended. And they, they, they do this circus right in front of me. They did this stuff. They always did the stuff like this in front of me to get the attention, you know. And logically, the person, if you're drugged up, you're going you're gonna to go and say, what happened? What, what, what's going on? What happened? And it's showing you, you know, it's showing you a piece, something that's broken and something, you know. And they do it in a, such a way, if only possible, so that you say, so what? Fuck it, you know, this and that. And then the only thing they do is they continue to drill. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Then the only thing is afterwards in post MK Ultra time, you're going to get through the postal offices delivered exactly the kind of item. The batteries were all faulty, stolen. A lot of items stolen that would never arrive through the mail. But the stuff that would arrive through the mail would be like really totally like a psychopathically to cause one as much as possible psychological trauma. You all would be damaged accordingly, used, worn out, or damaged accordingly to what the torture was about under MK Ultra. So I'm also giving you a, like a little lesson if you torture somebody some, uh, out there on how to properly torture one. You know what I mean? That's how you do it. You got to do it in a, such a way so the person can really, really suffer then uh, the consequences of, you know, that he gets reminded of his sleep deprivation, you know, of his circumstances, the circumstances, how difficult it was for him to even stay alive, basically, when the crime was demonstrated to him under MK Ultra, and uh, when he is experiencing this kind of stuff in in a real time when it's happening to him, stuff like this, that like brings like an extra, extra, extra. Uh, powerful uh, trauma to individual. The, the way you see I'm holding the knife right there, that's the proper way. These are two knives. It's like a, really the most simple tools I'm using to do this stuff. This is how police officers were doing their stuff here from sometimes maybe even from 1996, 97, they did like this. Then in 2020, they told me if you are going to do what you're, what I'm doing right now, what you say I'm doing right now, in that case, you're going to be knowledge is insane because this is not the proper way of doing it. And all the damage we have done to you, it's going to be blamed on you. You're going to be the one who's going to assume all the damage for everything that was done to you, for all the destruction and for everything. Yeah? From the police investigator who was involved in crime, I'm going to tell you the way I'm going to hold the knives right now to attach this minute hand. It's not the proper way to do it. The proper way is the way I did like this stuff before. When I did this, like I set the knives on the side and then I pushed them down. Now, let me demonstrate to you right now. It didn't came to me on time, but then I recall what he was even telling me during MK Ultra. This police investigator who met me, this criminal who met me at the police station, when I went to inquire about the uh, files, medical, the right to obtain medical files for my father so I could provide a home care for my father, half a year ago, was the one who claimed had an absolute record in doing what you see right there without using a machine for it. So this here, this is the proper way. This is the way you do it. That's exactly, that's the way the way you you should hold your knives is that's what you're going to use as a tool to attach this minute uh, hands. That's how you do it. Yeah. You shouldn't do it like the sideways. You're going to see, I think I'm going to do it. I'm not even sure whether I did this or not, but you shouldn't have done what I'm about to do next. So, yes, of course, I did some mistake. This is my fourth mechanism that I attached. And I told you that two days ago, I lost my fucking mind because I didn't know 
Uh, so far, I attached every mechanism successfully with watches. Going to total, total precision, I couldn't do better than what I did. Even if I had a machine, professional machine, whatever the hell I would have, I couldn't have done a better job than that, than what I did. There is no, there is nothing really to regret about this stuff. But still, uh, if I'm going to do that stuff, I'm going to demonstrate you this. It's, it's what I shouldn't have done that if I did that. At least I know that I did position in, in an improper way. And I'm not hiding this. I'll, I'll tell you this just the way it is. This is this is okay. The stuff I'm doing right now is okay. And I'm doing this really, really with a great precision. The police investigator, whom they, they have him meet me, to revive the memory on a torture and stuff, you know? Uh, this is a guy who claimed under MK Ultra that he is the fastest, meaning that the police investigators were actually even timing themselves as per who can attach the hands faster on a mechanism. They were playing, they, were, they also destroy a bunch of watches along the way. Their instructor, however, was the criminal that sells a local watchman here that sell watches and stuff but it's interesting it's not interesting every one of this claimed that they had a great misfortune because of me in their life and so on but this is always the way it goes this was the london 1-800 kabbalion this is a londonian prince andrew school mm -hmm. that's basically to cause as much as possible physical harm to individual torture mercilessly, mer mercilessly, deprive one of one week, two weeks of sleep, have one walk at night, drugged up, and perform torture on him, anywhere from death threats to all kinds of stuff, and claim that you, that you are the cause, that something happened to him, and so on and so forth, and all kinds of shit like this. This, this is how British do it. It's a pathetic state, this Great Britain. There is really nothing great about Great Britain. What's great about Great Britain is they're so desperate to look more exclusive and to get extras that they're using this private family over there to uh, rationalize uh, their special uh, demands for a special treatment uh, to be seen differently. Uh, to get more for less bang, if you like, or whatever. What you see right there, uh, what you see right there, I am, I aligned the hand uh, exactly, exactly in the center of what I told you is the center of the piece, which, however, under MK Ultra, I repeated it, I refer to one as a crown, as a crown, crown's a crown. And I refer to one like this because. It all started with a watchman yelling at me, Zlamo si kronzo, Zlamo si kronzo, what you did, you broke the crown, you broke the crown. I said, I didn't broke the crown, what kind of, what, what have I done? You know, what have I done? This kind of trauma they were causing under MK Ultra, they had me attach also these hands under MK Ultra to watch, maybe just a few times. I can tell you, uh, the only thing I can say is maybe I managed to attach hour and even maybe minute uh, to a watch, drugged up, but I never managed to attach a second to a watch. I don't think I ever managed to attach the seconds, uh, the hand with the seconds that counts seconds to a watch on that MK Ultra, yeah. And they started to, he started to yell at me, and since then. They started to yell always whenever they were watching on doing on watches stuff. Beginning sometimes I don't know what year was it, maybe even 2000. They started to scream on me on every to cause me trauma that I broke the crown. Zlamo si kronzo. Zlamo si krona. Zlamo si kronzo. You broke the crown. You broke the crown. And they were laughing like crazy. And I did not understood anything. And then I noticed that it was British royals that this kind of crime appealed to them. 
and they were very, very excited about this. You broke the crown. You broke the crown. So what you see right there, this also was on the menu of now it's King Charles that demanded this crime to be actually even seen. I don't know how much he counted that you would hear me saying, but I told you a little bit earlier that a Great Britain is not so great. It's a country, it's a state. Now, this is just to demonstrate to you that this stuff does not go inside regardless of patience and detail, uh, precision, if you like, uh, completely aligned into the hole over there is, I'm going to press one and it's not going to stick inside. And let me tell you, I lost one day trying to see what the hell, if this even goes inside in there or not, and so on and so forth. In a continuation, you're going to see that, in fact, it does. Because I attached exactly what you're about to see to another watch. So, yeah, it does, but it doesn't go because it's exactly what psychiatrist Peter Kapsch told me. Break the crown, which is not the crown, it's just the center of the watch, but that's how they wanted me to see. Where you will do, if you will ever do, and then you will do this, and then you will do that. Already for me to order this and replace this movement, get an idea to fix my own watch like this was a great deal. I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. Uh, then finally I got myself really and, you know, I already fixed like two other watches. Totally I replaced three other mechanisms. Uh, all successfully so. It really came clear that the fourth one, uh, it's not going to be, I'm not going to be capable to touch. Uh, the last part I'm going to do It's like psychiatrist Peter Kopp told me that the last thing you're going to do, it's, it's exactly what you're seeing here. You're going to realize you cannot touch. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, listen. Uh, the British state is not so great. It's not about Great Britain. Uh, this sadistic shit that you see here that British state is enforcing through this family in London. And for which... Great Britain believes it's going to look like a little bit more exclusive, like somebody who can, you know, use a criminal network you know, connections to eventually do some citizen, American citizen, a citizen of Slovenia, something like this and get away without the punishment. This is no, this is no greatness. You know, just remember at 23 when I left. I had nothing. I left with nothing in my pocket. My father eventually cursed me when I left through the front gate of the house. I, I got nothing, really. For me, life was really, really tough before I left the United States of America. I went without anything. And, you know, the person like this is really easy to destroy. You see, this is the same, the same, the same dials that are attached otherwise to the different mechanism. Uh... However, and I'm going to demonstrate you another one. However, this die, this uh, this hands, you cannot this hand, you cannot touch one to this mechanism because in the middle is something that's missing, and there is nothing you can attach one to. In fact, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to press one inside. It's even going to stick inside, and then it's going to fall out as I turn one around. This is exactly the same. The same hands. I have also already attached successfully as to what you see right there. But in this case, as you see right there, it does not stay on. So I came to conclusion that in the middle, just as psychiatrist Peter Kapp stated, not everything right there is okay. It was exactly what they stated me. You're going to fix this, you're going to do that, and everything once you're going to do absolutely everything. You see? You see those hands right there? This is a different mechanism that is behind, which is the last thing that possibly could have something to play with it. But I still think that it's not. I think that this I should be capable to attach right there. 
and it's just not the case because of what I stated, because of what I was promised the case is going to be. Um, so what I wanted to tell you about the Great Britain is what British state did was basically enforced degree of crime against me, you know, demonstrated the world how they can do something to a single individual by use of that police against one in another country, you know, going after one through the Central Intelligence Agency in Miami, through U.S., where he immigrated, became a citizen. That's where I became a citizen in 2000. And I also follow up like a debt across the European continent, whatever I try to establish myself, file myself, political asylum, establish new life. Uh, and then finally in Slovenia, using this police against me, uh, you know, this is really not, this is, this is, this is rather, if anything, this is really pathetic. So you, you, you have to find like completely person that is in, in, in the most crazy circumstances that practically didn't have life uh, in his country, in his homeland, immigrated escaped somewhere abroad, and then you use actually the state where he immigrated from to have one indefinitely destroyed uh, through forcing one, through using a force on employment for one to return back to his homeland. Man, you're fucking sick, if anything, and you are severely, you're sadistically sick. You're sick people over there in Britain, I'm going to tell you. There is nothing great about it. Uh, as far as British, I didn't break no crime, uh, crown. This crime is crown, crime. This crown, your crown, your your crown is a crime. Yeah, I didn't break no crown. Uh, just as I was brainwashed here, it's gonna be. You see, it's completely attached, supposedly. But once I'm gonna turn around, this it's just gonna fell off. This second, the count's seconds is just gonna fell out. Uh, I didn't, I didn't break anything. You cannot break something that already is broken. Now, if, and it's really none of my business, how the British see this crime or crown, whatever you want this, uh, if this is what makes you pleased and you feel now exclusive, you, you're demonstrating the strength, the power to the world through uh, the criminal net that you managed to establish that you, through the maybe even reputation, something that, that you can demonstrate what, what, you know, how exclusive, you know, what you can do with just, you know, like your Rolex, you know, like your Rolls Royce, like your Jaguar, like exclusive stuff that you do, you know, this kind of funny, crazy stuff like this, different stuff, you know, good. That's okay. Then more power to you. You know, that's, I'm glad, but still I'm going to tell the British, your royals are never going to become my problem. Your royals are going to remain your British problem, never mine, because I can't afford for these people to become my problem. If they counted that I will develop pathos, you know, that I'm going to suffer so much psychologically, that the only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to start to... um I don't know, fail and fade away probably from, from a hatred against British, that I'm going to be so hateful toward British that, that I'm not going to know what the fuck, what day, what time it is, what time of the day, what year it is. This is not the case. I don't have anything to do, not with British royals and not with the British as a nation. I never immigrated to the Britain I immigrated once to Canada with the hope to file for political asylum. After what was done to me, I never would consider not Britain, not Australia, not Canada. For anything in life, I would consider one. And so, you're not my problem, just like your British royals are not my problem. They are your problem. This is basically what you wanted. You wanted to look exclusive. You want, you want I don't know. Uh, uh, to, 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 to demonstrate to the world what you see as, as like a humorous stuff, basically to, to destroy a normal human being, to waste a human life, a human being on a, on, a, on a sadistic, on a mentally ill, sick, psychopathic stuff like this. 
That's basically how I wasted the last, well, it's going to over 29 years now. 28 years is how I wasted. My best 20, 28 years basically is how I left it, wasted my life on a family from London that wasted the livers, the kidneys on a fucking alcohol like Prince Andrew had surgery in nine in 2004 i don't know what kind of surgery was it was it on a liver or whatever the fuck it was due to amount of alcohol he consumed they are fucking drunks and losers and everything else i don't have a time to lose with this video here that you see this is just to prove about another yet mindless sadistic crime this is just about to demonstrate you what went on here behind these walls inside of this house you know it was a lot of people that was angry and and humiliated me how fat you are and this and that you know uh and all kinds of stuff you know this is not the life i chose this video remember i'm recording it's the sound i am re-recording because not even that stuff worked really it's not so easy when you buy SD cards and you put them somewhere on the site and the SD cards disappear and this disappear and that stuff is stolen and you, you know, you're cornered. Like they example me a jail, what you can do to the person in the jail, what we're going to do to you at the workplace, you're going to go to the work and how we're going to corner you. You're going to see what I did. You know, those are the words from the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. Uh, I managed to, everyone that returned from the Poland and they got the job in Slovenia, I managed to get everyone arrested because of the hostility I created at the workplace where you will apply for the job and stuff like this. Listen, listen, man. Listen. You proved the point. You prove the point. You are the best. You can do what really, 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 really nobody can. But Great Britain looks to me like a shit. It looks to me like a pigeon shit. When I consider the amount of people, with the amount of elites involved in crime against me, human rights organizations, these British royals involved against me, United Nations, Amnesty International, which they own, they completely own Amnesty International. Amnesty International is a private property, like completely. When I consider a court in Strasbourg, the Germans that run one, when I consider European Parliament in Brussels, the crime through which the human rights activists and representatives of International Criminal Court International Police Association, Interpol, alone became involved in one to cause harm. I can tell you, man, I am a lion. You as a country, as a nation, you are a piece of shit. You are a pigeon piece of shit. I carry on into the 29 year. And today I'm going to tell you you are still, your British royals are still not my problem. I am not the one who have broke the crown. I have never had anything against the crown, against any crown in my life. I always respected the people, the countries, the customs, the folklore, wherever I went. And that you have to go and you have to voice your strength your power your importance your prestige like this i think that you're the most pathetic nation in the world and you are for fuck's sake you are the most pathetic in the world you are the one who have enslaved indian people and chinese people with opium with the drugs you are the one who have sucked on other people's blood to get ahead of humanity. You are pathetic. You are in, in your entire might, there's no more 
pathetic people than you are. So if you accomplish something with this case, so be it. I'm demonstrating you how this crime came to life here. What you see right there is a brown case. The brown case is what I was told, the brown dial. That's called the brown dial. That's brown dial that you see right there. The brown dial is what you're going to have, whether you like it or not. And the police always did this whenever they had me inside of the room. They had what appeared to be black people. There was a lot of black people involved in this stuff. And they were asking him, which one do you want? Which one do you want uh, him to have? Which one do you want him to have? And they, it appeared to me always as a black person that would continually uh, give, me, give a feedback in front of me uh, that he wants me to have a brown one because of all these colorful uh, models that I have. This is like a $2, $3, $4. This is like a $4 watches that you see right there, right? Uh, some are for the father, some are for me. Uh, and all of them were broken simultaneously, more than not. Um, different colors, same watch, uh, and all in repeated time and again, time and again, issue. Which one do you want him to have? Which one do you want him to have? And the black person appears answered, brown one, brown one. And so the next thing that you see was banging here inside. I observed drugged up police officers here uh, hammering what I'm going to demonstrate you, making a noise, doing all kinds of stuff like this to make me feel that they're going to bend. Uh, so to demonstrate you right now, I have to go to the next part. That's how this crime about the so-called broken crown came to play. Yeah, uh, It came to play in exactly in a way that the police uh, had me on one opportunity. So, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're using black person and they interrogated me, which watch, first they interrogated me, which watch do you want to have according to your preference, which one are you going to fix? And I, and I indicated exactly what you see right there. By the way, the hands black that you see right there, that was painted by the watchman to whom my father have taken the watch because he wanted the black dials. Okay. Uh, and so it all started with which watch do you want? Which one, if you could repair one, which color would you repair? And I have chosen to have a black one and or fluorescent one, the one that you see right there, uh, or glow in the dark or lumi bright, whatever you want to call this. Yeah. Uh, and once they establish, I want the black one and uh, or luminescent one, they proceeded to break what are mounts bent heavily bent or break what are mounts located in the back of this dial. You see this luminous, luminescent color that you see? The other way it says socky and those numbers, that's a dial. In the back of that, you have like a mounts where you attach uh, a mechanism, a movement from the watch. And I'm going to put like a link below so you can see exactly. You can, maybe you can stop and look um, you can see this mechanism, the parts of the watch, what exactly I'm referring to. Yeah, so they started to make noise, uh, basically, bam, boom, bam, 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 and every here and there they would have what appeared to be a black person asking, which one does he want me to have watch? You know, fuck your watches, all destroyed. And you have some black person in front of the police exercising, uh, saying which watch is that you are to have, you know. And it's going to be the brown one, yeah? It's not going to be a black one. It's not going to be a green one. It's not going to be a, a, a lumi bright. It's going to be a brown one, exactly brown one, yeah? So that is really a racism through the most sadistic, psychopathic stuff. <laughs> and uh, they repeated to me this stuff over and over and over and over and over again. And so 
I wanted still the black one. I wanted to mount this mechanism on the black one. I wanted the black, the black watch. And so what they did was the brainwash started with pointing me out how the mechanism, uh, the center of the mechanism where the hands are attached is bent, is not straight, but is a sideways. Uh, and for that matter, they have gone as far as bringing me to the city, a police investigator who met me at the police station. And he, but he said to me, but say, you don't mind, right? You don't mind. It, it's going to be good. It's going to be good, except he demonstrated to me watch was like, so fucking weird, the, the, the pointers, even under MK Ultra, I acknowledge, they were not straight. They were like sideways, you know, not like um, parallel to, um, to a dial, to what you see right there, this black piece, not parallel, but they were under the degree and they hang down, you know, like... Um, you know what the 360 degree is, um, you know, like 10 degree minus, you know what I mean? Like going down, like in a, in a, like 350 degree. Okay. If you would, it was just not straight. Okay. And, and have me acknowledge that kind of stuff. This is the stuff they were doing, but, but he said, that that's not a big deal for you. No, that's not a big deal because they wanted to anger like this. And, and 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 excite about light that it's um that is just uh, that is just um that's just not uh straight right uh that that the center where these hands are attached is just is just not straight yeah so um you know i don't know what the fuck to do you see those are mounts right there that you have seen those two pieces right those are those are two mounts that you mount this a mechanism in the back that's where you attach one on those mounts uh, and so they demanded for me to push this center the sideway and strain one up straight to straight one up and I really wasn't sure what the fuck to do when I saw this I started to really really believe there is something wrong with the mechanism when I attach one into uh, into the center of this black watch for which they realized that I will go for it no matter what because I wanted to have the black watch under MK Ultra. If I would repair one, it would be a black watch. And so when I push the mechanism from behind, the mechanism uh, would simply be uh, pressed against the dial in direction of five between five and four hundred hours between four and five in that direction it would be if i if i would have touched the mechanism uh, as as it was it would be it would be squeezing against uh the dial the against this black dial that you see right there so i had to do something about it yeah luckily i didn't go and do what they told me to do to strain it up one by pushing one with a knife against it one catastrophe I avoided and instead did have enough common sense and it's something also they did told me about that there are these mounts in the back that I have to strain it up you're going to see them you see this is a mount right there that's a mount and all these mounts were sided sideways and so once I did that I partially corrected the problem but really the problem was finally corrected by my literally using a knife from behind of this dial and creating like a conus, you know, like in a conus, I started to uh, drill with the knife in direction of where I demonstrated it was a four and five o'clock to increase uh, the hole, however, only from behind. You understand what I'm saying? Only from behind, not from up front. From up front, it remained original, completely like it was, without you possibly could see anything, yeah? So for me to fit this mechanism inside, I had to increase the hole from behind. I just had to make sure that it's not going to be uh, scratching against, dragging against uh, a dial, you know, where this mechanism that you see right there is attached. 
Yeah. So I managed to correct also that kind of problem. I managed to correct all kind of problem. Americans were involved in this stuff. It was some kind of a Hollywood guy that also went ahead. And they warned him. They told him, don't fucking do it with this police, Slovenian police. And he said that he wants to give them a, a green light. He already was the one who referred to this crime as their protector. That he will give them a backup, basically. Backup means in a crime like this, the backup is when you, eventually when you go and uh, rather than condemn crime or distance yourself from the crime, uh, you start to participate in one. Because individual, the victim that police is doing the crime to, uh, all he had to say to have a police disbursed from the criminal liabilities, from the crime, that's how the police protected themselves and politicians too. All he had to do is, this is a collateral murder basically. All he had to do is that there was some other country that also represents our politicians from another country that participated in it. You know, it's a MK Ultra. MK Ultra is basically almost like I put something around your head by covering your eyes and you're completely incapacitated to defend yourself. And then they can do with you whatever the fuck they want to do. This is what MK Ultra is. And in other words, MK Ultra also translated is timing. It's timing. It's a it's a crime that is completely timed because everything in your life, every aspect of your life, not every aspect of your life, but your every step you make, even inside of your private residence, is coordinated through the crime that you see here. Police spent inside of this house uh, God knows how much time with me. Uh, they, inside of this room, there is no item they would know for one. They have used one as if it would be theirs and compare one to the circumstances on how I could use and further even on how to misrepresent, even on how to make one, uh, so for me to say, to use one for me to damage myself. You, under, you understand? To, to misinterpret uh, um, certain things uh, in a way that I would claim were done uh, to me or uh, would not even know how to properly use them. This is, this is what a police was doing inside of this house next to other torture also. And so the next thing that the next stage the police did is they demanded from me to get when they do the harm like this, they do they do the whole set of the harm. They demanded for me to use the file and remove those from those edges, those uh, that you say like those marks where this is a movement what I hold in my hands. So this is this is a machine inside that powers the watch, those hands that are moving, yeah. So they, they, they demanded for me to go and remove, scratch away this uh, parts that you see. You see this these things, this this edges on the edge, you see those things? That's used so the watch doesn't, the mechanism doesn't press completely against a, a dial to which the uh, this mechanism is attached. This watch in particular has also what you see is a calendar. So now without those things, yeah, without if you remove this, the only thing that's going to happen, probably even the calendar would not function. But for that matter, what is also interesting to note, the police have made some pieces, I have noticed in another watch, that look like they did exactly what I stated right now. That's something I have not video recorded. I'm going to go back and I'm going to video record before I go out of this room. It appears to me. Because they were brainwashing me on how I have to do this. Do you understand me? I have not done it, but police, now when I go second time over this stuff, not only brainwash me with this, but I think they actually did this stuff. So I'm going to go over and see if I can even get proof about that kind of stuff. Um, so I didn't go and do this. I didn't go and do that. I continued. Uh, I simply continued uh, and did the right thing. Everything was exactly the way the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch stated. I even managed to prepare the watch so the watch would not be 
uh, pressing against the dial. You see, so there was a whole procedure, like I told you, more than just ordering this stuff, uh, was to actually even make the watch fit inside. So you have to correct the mounts uh, because those are bent. They were sideways. That was, that was a big fucking problem, what you see right there. It was completely sideways. Create the conus like this with the knife I did. All this. And then psychiatrist Peter Kapp stated me, the last step you're going to do is going to be to attach the dial, which is for the seconds, which is the last step, which is the last step, they were asking me. And I did not know under MK Ultra anything about this. And they told me, seconds, right? We told you about the seconds, the seconds hand, for the seconds you have to attach. And then, and this was the sick shit they repeated to me. They started to laugh. <laughs> and that is where you get fucked, that you're going to see that you did not succeed at. And you remember earlier when I told you about the crown, you broke the crown, you broke the crown. Well, this is the center of the watch they refer to as a crown. And it's what also Asian resellers, watchmen, manufacturers also who were coming here, they told me, we're going to help you if you're going to do the video like this. However, we are not going to help you if you will refer to the center of the watch, a crown. So I hope, my dear Asians, that you're not going to go and fuck me, meaning that you didn't say to me, for me to remember on how they fucked me, but that you will go and instead confirm what I stated here. Because it appears to me right now when I go over this stuff that you knew a little bit more about it than just mention me out of your goodwill about the issue of a crown and that you will confirm what you have promised me you will do by confirming basically what I stated here have taken place. Because you knew completely about this crown, about this stuff, what they're going to be doing. See, this is the way I did peeled off this in the back, into the corners. So it would not scratch against uh, against the dial once the, 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 uh, the mechanism is mounted on. You know, this is, this is basically, remember when I told you about, you broke the crown, you broke the crown, you broke the crown. Fuck you. You cannot break the crown. You cannot break anything that already is broken. I've never heard that you can break something that is already broken. And, you know, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, and Prince Harry and Prince William, you cannot lose something that never was yours. Talking about myself here. You can't lose anything that never was yours. You can't break something that already is broken. And you should never fix something if it's working fine. Those are, with exception of the last one I stated, two of my sayings. And the third one, you're never going to become my problem. You will always remain, in respect to this case, in respect to this crime, British problem, not mine. And so, yeah, after I corrected all the problems, I was prompted, uh, I'm going to have to correct the known problem of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, hired by these British royals, just like these police investigators popped up, uh, and this dial from the seconds would keep falling out, even once it was already attached, which is something you were able to see uh, along the video. So I don't have anything else I would say. This is um, this is a comment that 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 I wanted to insert in this video. I'm gonna have a, if I repeat to you, um, out of three mechanisms of which one, the original Casio was worth two of these cheaper mechanisms. There is only one that was functional, and that's the one I have installed in the Casio, which you have seen is functioning so beautifully. Uh, three others were simply stolen, or I should say, one was definitely stolen. I got the money for it. I thanked the seller. Uh, and the other one simply 
was, uh, as you were able to see, not in a condition for this uh, hand even to have attached to it. It's like 75% uh, theft when it comes percentage-wise concerning this stuff. And this is pathetic done by the people who are actually extremely wealthy compared to myself, people who had a really wonderful, wonderful life. People who have their families, houses, cars, money as much as you want, so fucking miserable that uh, it is just something that prompts them. They need to apologize the crime of this Slovenian nation uh, crime which they commenced in 1995 with exactly what I described and for what they needed desperately they needed some kind of excuse but they work mercilessly on it and they just couldn't get it done and they couldn't get it done it's a 29th 29th year and they just can't get it done no matter what they are trying to do they just can't get it done the police and that's why i touched the subject to the value of the items itself demanded from me to afterwards because police investigators claimed to me they're going to do, yeah, I did not stop. They started to claim to me that they will do this stuff so that the next time that I will purchase the mechanism, um, the watch mechanism, the cheap watch mechanism, they're going to purchase one with a box for what the Germans laughed at that. The Germans knew all about it. Angela Merkel, they all knew about this stuff. They were laughing to this stuff. They were laughing to this merciless killing, to this merciless torture. The only response from the German was simply ruthless laughing, basically. They acknowledged it, and the only thing that happened was laughing. For them, for the Germans, this torture, this was like nothing. Yeah. Um, they demanded from me to purchase the mechanisms next time which would be stored inside of the boxes. They started to claim me that the mechanisms uh, that are sent from Asia, from China, are damaged due to transport. Uh, and further, that the Chinese sellers treat and sell for less damaged items and so on and so forth. Um, and that I'm to buy inside of the case a mechanism or I will suffer exactly the very same fate as it have happened this time. Uh, that I will continue to receive damaged merchandise from Asia. Um, well, I probably would end up paying more for items to arrive here uh, to Slovenia inside of the cases. So the watch seller who committed a lot of theft in this case, uh, even theft would probably have his cheap pieces switched with mine, yeah, which still would work, uh, but for the sake of his customers and his budget, probably that would be more handy for him and his police investigators. The police investigators were selling items through him for about three years, and it was like two of these police officers that would continue to play with this, don't know anything about others. They claim that they no longer did this, which, however, would get themselves somebody else in Slovenia 
through whom they would continue to sell uh, modified watches. This is how far this crime with the watches have gone. This is just a single crime, and um, as you notice, it's it's a hell. It's it's a lot to report about one. It's a lot to report about one. Um, I'm thinking if there's like anything else here that I left out, and it would be important for me to. Uh, it's like 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, this is still. It's still working. It's still here. Uh, if I if I missed on anything, that's something that would be important. Something, but uh, I don't think I did. I think I did a pretty good job. This was impossible for me to repeat the original uh, recording, but I think I did a good job. No, I, I probably should title this video as "You Broke the Crown." You broke the crown, and it was the shit that's interesting about this. Twenty years, it was about you broke the crown. You broke the crown and then uh it all ended exactly the way i told you about it with a total setup on how i you have to do this we will teach how i have to strain it up the mounts how i have to even peel off drill they said that i should drill this hole in the middle uh so that you would not brag against scratch against the case um, and uh, you know totally according to local psychiatrist Peter Kapsch who claimed that it was the foreign governments who also wanted to hire one to for the crime so that they could do the crime to other people elsewhere you know this is the guy who was so proud about torture that he was doing to me he was really really proud about he he felt like especially righteous about doing damage like this wasting life to somebody like this um this is this this stuff um this stuff is um it's not a difficult to perform yourself uh, as for the special tools, I think they're they're definitely worthy for you to buy. Definitely is a good. I would definitely recommend them if you have enough money. But if you don't have enough money, that you can also do it yourself. You need no special tools to do that kind of stuff. You can do it yourself too. So I didn't have enough money to buy tools and stuff like this. Uh, and eventually, I decided uh, rather than to buy new watches uh analog you know this kind of quartz watches i just decide i'm going to buy mechanism and repair whatever the police which police anticipated that's what you're going to do uh, they anticipated decide i'm going to go and repair these watches uh, uh, in respect to the brown watch i just noticed it was the only watch that did not have bent mounts is something that I started earlier also this is the racist stuff they implemented uh, it was the only one it appeared that it was it, it, it became clear that it was the only watch that was not bent that it was not damaged that was not uh, that 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 easily this um, it would fit in one uh, this movement it was a brown watch but of course as I stated the brown watch was the one that, for which I decided uh, I will not, uh, um, you know, use one. I will not go and uh, repair one. Basically, they that's whatever they 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 realized I would be the least likely to go about and repair. 
that's what MKUltra is used for, for this kind of crime. So they completely evaluate your preferences and then they corner you. And then from by cornering you through those preferences, they basically extort the crime. Yeah. So. I can hear King Charles now, how extraordinary did a psychiatrist committed crime, how extraordinary, because this is like you go, like they used to say a, time, a long time ago that in Italy you would go to the Panterosa and you would buy yourself watches on Kilo, that's how they refer to these cheap watches. Um, that's what the fuck these people are in London. This is what these British are. They buy crime like this against a single person on kilo. And they always bet wherever is a defenseless situation so they can prove themselves. They make themselves look, they make themselves visible where clearly crime is completely out of hand. It's where it's basically nobody that would stood up on their way and call them out, you know. And that's how they accent the strength, the power. We have the United Nations. We own Amnesty International. We we have German bureaucrats in Strasbourg, and we own Brussels because the people that do with Britain, they have to get down on their knees in front of us and perform as we dictate. It always was excellent, and there is nothing you can do. During the torture, the police always excellent. You'll be nothing you'll be capable to do. Nothing you can do. Nothing you'll be able to do. They did this shit for 26 years. The 26 year, in respect to the watch, this is what I stated right now. There is nothing you can do. That's really pertain to all other crimes, to all the crimes, to the torture in general. But in 2020, in respect to the crime, it was the last time they started to play with these watches in front of me, inside of this house. It's when they hijacked me from Poland. Uh, as I stated earlier, I have to repeat this to you. If you will be using knives and that kind of stuff, basically what they were doing for, for 20 years, for over 20 years, for like 22, 23 years, what they were doing, they acknowledged me, uh, they stated me in my face during MK if you're going to be doing this stuff with the knives, you're all going to be guilty for everything yourself. And we're going to be all excused from this stuff. I got 12 minutes left. And uh, again, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try to merge this audio. I'm going to fit one through Windows media player and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and try to attach the audio through online services somehow because this is so bad it's two hours long almost this video and uh unfortunately the stuff like this you and just go and uh i bet with my i, I had an idea that i'm going to go Ah, uh, you can see here I attached one uh, that this red uh, hour uh, seconds hand is not uh, problematic for this type of hands, uh, any kinds of uh, not symbiosis, but any kinds of compatibility issues would not experience any of that stuff. It doesn't present any kind of problem. It attaches very nice. This is a different mechanism, though. However, I think that these mechanisms have the same parameters when it comes to attaching. These are low-end uh, SL68 and uh, SL, I think, uh, what is it, 28. Uh, I think they're pretty much the same diameter, uh, the same kind of um, diameter from the inside. Uh, everything the same that's used to attach this also a hand. I don't think that 
uh, is anything. This is the stuff they broke. This is the stuff that was well prepared for exactly for the video that I have created today. Uh, you know, uh, uh, this psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, did nothing but dream about he 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 claimed he's going to cash his psychiatric license. He claimed the money from the psychiatric job, the job itself, didn't pay him enough. The profession didn't pay him enough. So because the profession didn't pay him enough, he stressed to me in my face that he wants to cash his psychiatric license, that he wants to cash. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch was not happy. He, he claimed he wanted the best car in the world, that he wanted the best things in, in his life, the best, prestigious, everything prestigious, the best, nothing that is the best, nothing that is good enough for him. I don't know how he's in his private life when respect to cars and stuff like this, but this guy was just making a fucking list, longer and longer and longer lists, and on each occasion the British arrived here from London. He would meet them separately, and the only thing he would do is he would report on what kind of crime was done on me, uh, and what would be done on me, and in respect to really deadly situations, I told you about bus potentially hitting me. I told you about a trailer at night, the car with a trailer that was not properly marked uh, in a in a dark valley that also was involved in MK Ultra that could hit me. Uh, you just get approval if it's okay. Is it okay to do this? Is it okay to do this? Is it okay to do, do this? You know? And then these approvals, he would get them also from Americans and from Germans and from all other parties involved. You know, he would just get the fucking green light and that's basically how it goes. That's how the crime on kilos go. That's how this stuff was implemented. That's how this stuff is done. That's how the crime is done today, literally through United Nations. I wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff, but I really, really, really started to believe that what's happening, what was done to me, shouldn't be tolerated uh, and should be condemned and everything should be done to stop this once and for all. I don't believe in this kind of royalism. I don't believe in this kind of royals. This is a sadism. This is sadistic. It's mentally ill. I don't care about inhumane. I'm thinking about other issues. Condemning the stuff with inhumane and this and that, you don't get anywhere. You don't get it. You you don't you don't accomplish anything good. You don't you don't get anywhere. It's the world these people have created where a normal person doesn't have the right to remain normal. It doesn't have the right to to remain normal. Exactly what I stated. They created the world according to Rolex. They created the world according to Rolls Royce, which a handful of people is using. And they created the world where most of the people, whether they like it or not, have to survive by paying off a credit cards from month to month, rentals, car lease, credits, debits. Something I have never done in my life. I always lived of the savings, regardless of how hard, regardless of denial of the right to employment, 
I came face to face, literally applying from door to door, from door to door, on the other occasions working even 24 hours straight. So not that I could buy, pay the bills, but I could set the money aside for what I was even acknowledge as not normal. It's not normal. They insisted to me that the life like this, the sacrifice, simply was not normal. So the human sacrifice is not normal, but the crime is the way to go. That's why I have a problem with a system like this because it's turning the whole globe, it's turning the whole world into simply into a toilet. This is contrary to prosperity, a junk, a lies, a crime. This people export, this great British nation. Yeah, that's what I'm probably explaining about other issues in respect to this watch, what, um, you know, not a good stuff, not a good stuff, I don't know what else to tell you, there are four minutes of this recording left, and I really don't know what else I would tell you, I came to terms that, um, It's like I stated today on a new site, royalism, ro royal itself, uh, this, is, this is something that is being greatly abused. These people were not like this when it all started in 95. They were way more friendlier. Uh, they didn't have anywhere near this kind of confidence, self-confidence for the crime. So, but the crime was become more and more and more evident, more and more obvious. They just turned this picture, they just turned the table around systematically. And when I no longer was needed to post to 96, when I was told they owe me 50 billion, whatever, euros or pounds, uh, the picture became totally... contrary uh, to the way this stuff all started the way the way the way they all the way they all started it was it was a great great to have me great great to use me to get attention away from their dealings in Moscow in Russia where they brought me with them where they had our offices together with Americans they had our office they worked together in one office when it all started in Russia this financial this oil trade mineral trade gas trade all this stuff it was all everything went through one office it was American British office uh, at the beginning stage that's how they worked they worked together then they separated uh, they they figure out basically that in the end they figure out that the stuff they sell you even uh, the products that are sold in your country to the general public they figure out that the stuff that I bought in the stores in the U.S. and stuff like this they figure out that. Uh, they gave, they gave me, you know, I gave you this, I gave you that, I gave you that. You can go fucking store, buy yourself item, and they get you on that MKO, they'll claim you, they gave you, they gave you, even if you paid for it, and so on. Man, this is, this is, uh, this is not a good stuff. It's not a good stuff. Unfortunately, that uh, it's got to be done. Somebody's got to point out. By using literally journalists, professional journalists, they should be reporters to literally acquainted them 
with a torture procedure which they implemented through United States of America, through the Great Britain, um, and then sit you in front of a computer with the news they already have prepared they're going to publish in the future sometimes and interpret you the crime uh, for you to see one in the future as the way they want to see you one as when they publish one. And it's, it's, it's like totally total derision for her, uh, for the values which otherwise they accent so much within the society. This is beyond disgusting. However, I have to tell you, British royals are British problem. And they will become my problem as they desire so much to become my personal problem. They never will become my problem. And there is no way you can break something that already is broken. That's all, folks, for this video. I would say to you, thank you very much for your, for watching this video, but 